Hey everybody, it's Mr. X Stitch here, back with another video. Today I'm talking baubles. Now some of you may have paid attention to a previous video where I talked about an exciting art project that I've got happening later in the year. Thought I'd take a bit of time now to explain a bit more about that. So uh, I hope you're sitting comfortably. Let's get our bauble on. I've had the opportunity to curate an exhibition at a National Trust property down in Sussex here in the UK called Standen House. Now, Standen's an arts and crafts property. It was owned by the Beale family who uh, used a guy called Philip Webb, who is a contemporary of William Morris. And basically it's a lovely property. The way the building has been constructed, the attention to detail, the thoughtful design, um, echoes throughout the building. It's not a grand building, but it's a really nicely thought out building. It's quite an old property. Uh, it was one of those houses at the time where there would have been servants quarters. And what was nice about this particular place was that the attention to detail echo throughout the house so normally in a lot of these posh places like it'd be very grand in the main bits of the building where everybody lived um, but with the servants quarters it would just be fairly humble and fairly innocuous whereas at Standen everywhere throughout the building there's attention to detail there's nice designs that the, the arts and crafts approach you know echoes uh, nature and naturalness and yeah although Standen isn't a a grand building it's got a kind of humble class about it it's a really lovely space um, and if you're at all in the south of England you should definitely check it out you should definitely definitely check it out between the months of September to November where my exhibition the Mr X Stitch Guide to Cross Stitch will be happening um, I'm going to be taking elements from the Royal School of Needlework archives I'm going to be taking pieces from contemporary artists putting it all together mixing it up throwing it about a bit to create an exhibition that shows you the breadth of what's capable with cross stitch so that's a really exciting opportunity and I'm looking forward to getting on with that um, but what I'm also really excited about is that I've been given the opportunity to dress the stand and winter tree now it's the fourth year that they've had this tree and basically what it is is it's a 20 foot high Christmas tree that they have in their grounds. Stand and do a lot about Christmas, you know, they uh, have many different rooms and they dress uh, them in a sort of Christmas theme, looking at Christmas across the ages. I say ages, not like Neanderthal Christmas, but you know, Christmas over, you know, the past 150 years. Um, and at the same time then they have this massive tree in the courtyard and they invite artists to come and decorate the tree and this year they've invited me. In the first year Zandra Rhodes was invited to decorate the tree. In the second year Kay Fassett, I'm sure many of you have heard of him, he's a textile legend, he was invited and then last year Timorous Beasties were invited. And as you can see from some of the pictures that were taken of Kay's tree, you know it was bright and colourful, he used a lot of kind of fluorescent baubles and all those sorts of things so it's a great opportunity to really put a smile on people's faces and I've been pondering what I'm going to do I've got an idea in mind it's very sort of cross stitch themed um, obviously the whole thing is going to be cross stitched not the whole tree come on now be realistic but the art elements that I'm putting in are going to be cross stitched and I'm working on those at the moment so I'm quite looking forward to that um, but part of this is that I'm looking to do a crowdsourced Xmas X stitch bauble project and that's where you get involved so if you go to mrxstitch.com forward slash bauble b-a-u-b-l-e you can download this pattern so yeah, so this is the pattern. There are four bauble designs for you to choose from. You can stitch them in whatever color you like. You can stitch them on whatever fabric you like, as long as it's 14 count, because 14 count's quite important in terms of it fitting inside the four inch hoop that I've got in mind. As you can see, there's different designs here. There's a sort of star one, there's a stripy one. There's this like diagonally bad boy and this one with the little uh, diamonds in the middle of it. You don't have to stitch all of it. You can stitch some of it. You can do whatever you like, really. You can go gangbusters. But the idea is, is that I'm looking to get as many of these as possible so that I can festoon the area with loads and loads of different baubles from all over the place. And what I'm going to do is get little paper luggage tags and then attach them. So if you visit mrxstitch.com forward slash bauble, you can find the address to which you have to send the finished pieces. And then basically, yeah, if you put your name and where you're from on it, then I'll attach a little tag to it. 
And the idea is, is that as people are meandering around the area, they'll see all these little baubles dotted all over the place and they'll be able to see the names of where they've come from and hopefully they'll get a sense of the breadth of the world of cross stitch, you know? I'm thinking it's it's quite a good opportunity. It's like craftivism, but the political message is have a lovely Christmas, everybody. And so I'm hoping that we can just do this and we can put a smile on people's faces and that they're really going to enjoy it. I've already had a couple of people send things in and I'm super grateful to, for that. So first of all, thanks to Sharon Wallace from Cheshunt who sent in this lovely red number. Quite like it, bit of variegated thread happening there and stuff like that. And as you can see, I'm tucking the fabric behind, but it'll fit in a four inch hoop really nicely. So these will look lovely kind of dotted around all over the place. And then secondly, thanks to Emma Warrant from Chelsea, uh, who even took the time to bust out some gold thread, which as we all know is a massive pain in the ass. But I think that looks lovely, lovely and festive. And this is the thing you see, we're gonna have all these different baubles, all these different colors. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you do it and you fill it with love and you send it to me, at the address that you'll find on the pattern. So that's gonna be fantastic. And I really look forward to getting loads of these things. I know there's a few of you YouTubers out there who already are threatening to get lots of them sent to me. So I'm very excited by that. And I just think I just think it will be lovely, you know? I just think it will be lovely for people to wander around and see these, these baubles dotted all over the place and get a sense that, you know, there's people from all over the world who want to kind of show them a good time. So I'm really looking forward to the opportunity. I would like to thank Richard and the staff at stand and for giving me this opportunity because it's great it's great to a bring a really interesting exhibition to stand and show something you know kind of use a classic arts and crafts space within which to show modern arts and crafts and to challenge people's mindset about what cross stitch may be i'm looking forward to mixing it up and getting the pieces from the royal school needlework old thing new thing cool thing edgy thing light thing dark thing just doing it all the way we like it it's going to be really cool uh so yeah hopefully you'll be able to make it down to the exhibition and hopefully you'll be able to make it down at christmas as well i will do what i can to record the process and show you what happens and definitely take some footage when the time comes so if you can't charter a jet over from the us or australia or wherever you're watching this from i understand it'll be fine but yeah please do mrxstitch.com forward slash bauble download the pdf pattern stitch up as many as you like spread the word let's get bloody hundreds of these things shall we i think it's just going to be amazing obviously then i'll have to work out what to do with them afterwards but that doesn't matter i should just cover my whole house in them i should just leave them around places for people it's going to be great thank you in advance for your help there and as if that wasn't enough now i'm going to let you know about a little competition i've got going on where you can win a copy of this it's called really cross stitch it's by Raina Fai. If you get the latest issue of X Stitch Magazine, you may be aware of X Stitch Magazine, it's the nuts. If you get the latest copy of that, we've got a book review in there by Kate Blanford, and she reviews really cross stitch and gives it her uh, honest opinion. We like it, it's pretty groovy. And there's an opportunity in here to win a copy of the book and it's really easy. All you've got to do is send a postcard to the address listed in the book, which, if you're paying attention, also happens to be the address that is on the bottom of the bauble sheet. So when you go to mrxstitch.com forward slash bauble, you'll find the address to send that to. Happens to be the same address as this. If you send a postcard with some nice words on it to me at the address listed there, you will be in with a chance to win a copy of Rainer's book. I'm going to be doing a review of this book at some point in the not too distant future on this channel. Once I've worked out how to do book reviews on video, but it is, it's a pretty groovy book. It's got a nice attitude. It's gonna teach you plenty about political activism. So uh, if you already just wanna buy the book because of the Sex Pistols inspired front cover, then I'll put a link in the description below so that you can get your hands on that. But if you wanna get one for free, all you've gotta do is send me a postcard. Download the bauble pattern. You don't even have to stitch the bauble. Download the bauble pattern, visit mrxstitch.com forward slash bauble. You'll find the address to send me a postcard. Tell me something nice. Tell me a joke, write me a postcard. Send me a postcard from your city because I'm always interested to see where people come from and you'll be in with a chance of winning this book. That is pretty easy. So there you have it, people. Baubles and books, what's not to love? All you need to do is get involved and I hope that you do. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it's been okay. I'm really gonna try and push out more videos for your visual viewing pleasure. But in the meantime, 
Take care of yourself and happy stitching. Thank you.